Ahoy guys and welcome back to a much more upbeat I Like Watches 2 because in this video I'm going to show you some actual watches. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Watch content on a watch channel, that's absurd. The last three days have been very draining for you guys, for me, for Steve at Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. He still doesn't have his channel back so please guys continue to support him and send YouTube messages on Instagram and Twitter, um, I've lost access to my first channel for seven days as well. Now this video was actually supposed to go live on that channel a few days ago, and, but I deleted it because in the original version of this video, I had named the brand that is being paid homage to by the two watches that I'm gonna show you. Um, and I've now decided guys, in all of my content, I'm only going to name the brands that feature in my videos. This, for example, is a Boltony homage. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you which watch or which brand made the original watch that this pays homage to. It's just not worth it. Um, YouTube don't, don't seem to fully understand homage watches and the effort and hassle and the stress that we have to go through to protect our content and channels it's just not worth it, guys. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, you know, I will be telling you whether or not watches are originals or homages, um, but that's it. Now the two watches that I'm featuring in this video are homage watches. And one of them you've sort of seen before. Um, this is a new version of a watch that Boltony have already made and released. And um, they do a couple of versions, um, one with a seagull movement, one with um, a um, NH38 inside this watch. It's got a beautiful silver linen dial this one um, so i am going to give you a full review of this watch it's not a full full review because i've sort of reviewed it already but a bit of a recap now i am going to unbox and share with you some very quick first impressions of a brand new watch release by boltony this thing is incredible it is a homage of a watch that was made in the 1920s and 30s and inside this watch They've managed to squeeze a Miyota 9039. It is a particularly slim movement, but still, this thing is tiny. Um, so yeah, you'll get a sneaky peek at this one, a full review of this one. Um, links in the video description. Of course, they are affiliate links. I would love for you to use them. I'd also love for you to click that like button and subscribe. And please, guys, check out my giveaway on this channel. When it reaches 7,000 subscribers, I will be giving away a San Martin SN021, and the lucky recipient will get to pick between three versions of that watch. Um, so yeah, all the content recently on this channel has actually pushed us quite close to 7,000 subscribers, and it would be great to be able to give away another watch on this channel very soon. Again, just to lift the mood, I think. And that would be fantastic. Right, guys, um, yeah, enjoy the video. Now they're offering four versions of this watch. Two of them have polished stainless steel cases. The other two are sort of goldy in color and they don't actually explain in the listing what that material is. I have messaged them to find out so I will put the details of that in the video description if I find out after I have posted this video. And they're also offering a couple of dial options, mother of pearl and a sort of fairly standard vintage looking creamy dial option. And as you can see, I've been sent the stainless steel case with the um, creamy dial. Now, I've already mentioned it, they have used the Miyota 9015. It's not a particularly cheap movement, but it is a very nice movement. Beats at 28,800 beats per hour. Hacks and hand winds. But I suspect using that movement has resulted in this being one of their more expensive watches. 272 US dollars, 281 euros, 237 British pounds. I don't expect this watch to appeal to everyone or even many, many people. It's a fairly acquired taste, um, but yeah, it's interesting. And I think they have done a very nice job, I have to say. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch-ish wrist. Just look at that. This has to be one of the most interesting and unusual homage watches I've ever seen on AliExpress. It's just not something I would have ever imagined any brand would have been interested in um, paying homage to. And look how flat this thing sits. Not only is it quite a petite watch, which is quite unusual given it's got that sort of squarish looking case. Normally squared cases look, um, yeah, larger than their dimensions suggest. I will give you the dimensions in the full review. But um, yeah, not only does it look quite small, but it sits so low to my wrist. Um, that's really quite incredible, actually. And I think it is the Miyota 9039 because there's no ghost position on the crown. I think they've put 9015 in the listing. Um, but yeah, that obviously has a date complication, whereas this one doesn't. So 
Um, yeah, what an interesting watch. Um, nice leather strap. It's the same that's come on the other um, watch. So um, not much to report there, really. It's just a fairly nice leather strap. But this case and that dial, nice cathedral hands as well. I think there's some loom on this watch. Let's take a quick look. Yep, there it is. Um, there's definitely some loom on this watch. Look at that. It looks like a decent covering, um, but it doesn't detract from the overall look of the watch, does it? Yeah, fantastic. Well, there you go. Let me know what you think of this rather unusual homage in the comment section. And now I think we should move on and take a look at the homage with the beautiful silver linen dial. This then is the latest iteration of a watch that they've been making for a while, but they've now added a beautiful silver linen dial. They're still offering it with the NH38, so no complication at the six o'clock, but also no ghost position on the crown, which is fantastic. But if you like that small seconds complication at the six o'clock, you can still pick this up with the Seagull ST1701 automatic movement. The watch that I've been sent does contain the NH38. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour, hacks, and and hand winds it costs 170 US dollars 171 euros 144 British pounds the watch containing the Seagull ST1701 is roughly $20 cheaper right and there we go I have removed all the plastic put some power into the NH38 and um, yeah position the hands out the way so we can have a good look at this dial and actually, um, it's the case bezel, the numerals and the hands that are, well, sort of stealing the show. Um, they're all high polished, aren't they? And um, yeah, they're playing nicely with the light um, in this light box. Um, that linen dial not really coming to life. Um, how it does outside um, but you can see that crisscross pattern there I do think I prefer this um, version without the complication at the six o'clock it's such a beautiful dial actually it's nice to have that sort of open space you've got a very small automatic written above the six um, which is nice it just fills that space adequately Boltony under the 12 um, and yeah I've already mentioned those numerals very nicely applied silver um, colored or polished numerals and the hands a beautiful simple set of um, dauphine hands i believe and that second hand i'm not sure if that's blued or uh, painted um, but it's adding a nice splash of color to the dial isn't it um lovely i love this case shape i've got to say um lots of people have bought this watch um, and in fact it's not just boltony that are using this particular case. Um, there are other brands that have either bought it or partnered up with Boltony. I'm not entirely sure how the relationship has worked, um, but I have um, reviewed the Curious version of this watch, which has pretty much the same case and same crystal. And I love it. It's just so sort of vintagey and retro. It's short and stubby, but it's got some character. Um, the finishing is nice. Brushing is nice. The polished surfaces are nicely done. The bezel seems bright and beautifully finished and that crystal, just look at it. Um, I think it's single domed um, because at a super tight angle look, um, there is some distortion. Maybe there is some curvature to the uh, bottom side of that crystal, but uh, there's clear AR coating on it. Um, so yeah, lots of character, lots of character. Um, the strap is actually quite nice. Um, they've come on a few different straps, uh, two or three watches that I've seen. Um, and this is a well, just a very nice brown leather strap. Um, it's got this sort of coating on the outside, um, soft and supple, um, no quick release spring bars, um, but you do have a nice stainless steel buckle, uh, no signature, but it matches the case, which is nice. And um, some of their watches, the finishing on the case doesn't match the finishing on the buckle. Um, so it looks like a bit of a mismatch, but on this particular watch, look, both are polished and because the case back is fully polished it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet so I'll just give it a wipe before I show you it is a screw down case back um, seems nice enough the polishing doesn't it um, the crown is a screw down crown as well again um, polished no signature 200 meters of water resistance incredibly um so yeah i mean that's impressive isn't it right let's just recap the dimensions because some of you may not have seen my other videos just under 36 millimeters in diameter 13 and a half millimeters thick that is including the crystal look case length is just under 44 millimeters the lug width is 18 millimeters and there is some taper to this strap down to 15 and a half on the supplied strap it now weighs 
just over 70 grams. And there is confirmation of the sapphire crystal. Right, there's no loom on this dial, so let's get it on the wrist. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch-ish wrist. I really do think this is one of the nicest case and crystal combinations I've ever seen made available on AliExpress. And I suspect that is why, or one of the reasons why this watch has proven to be quite popular and why um, brands like Boltony are continuing to explore other options with different dials. Um, yeah, we just don't seem to be able to get enough of this particular style of watch. Um, it just looks fantastic. I think it is a gorgeous looking watch. And actually the strap goes really quite well with this watch. Um, it is a uh, nice soft leather strap. Um, I've not had to play with it or manipulate it in order to get it to conform to my wrist. Um, yeah, straight out the packaging. It's fitting very comfortably indeed. Um, I will have taken some shots of this dial outside as well, so hopefully you can see it in all its glory. Um, but yeah, what a fantastic addition to their, well, already quite unusual and interesting lineup of watches. Um, so yeah, well done, Boltony. Very, very nice, and I'm looking forward to see um, yeah, what other iterations of this watch you produce. And you never know, I might be lucky enough to receive um, more to show you in the future. Guys, do let me know what you think of this watch in the comments section. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. As always, massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do really, really appreciate it. Take care, look after yourselves. You'll see me again very, very soon.